Hello, hello, this is Anastasia and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about ugly truth about gel polishes. So the first one is shellac is better than gel polish. So the thing is that shellac is the name of the product. The product that is produced by a company called CND, Creative Nail Design, and shellac is a gel polish. It's like hybrid between gel and regular nail polish. These products were combined together to get a new product. So this is not correct to call every gel polish shellac because it's just the name of the brand. Now you know that it's basically the same. So when nail techs or clients ask me like which brand is the best among gel polishes, it's really hard to answer this question because it really depends on what you want to get. Like, what is the best cosmetic brand ever? What is the best car? What is the best man out there? It, the respond, the answer for this question, it will always be different depending on you, on what you want, on your personal needs. So there is no world best brand. All brands are different. You need to choose the brand that suits your needs better. Next myth is gel polish damages natural nails. Usually it's not really a gel polish, it's a nail technician. So to apply a gel polish on our nails, first we need to do nail prep, then we need to apply it, and then after two to three weeks we need to take it off. And here usually the most common mistakes occur. Once a client came to my salon and she was like, well, gel polish damaged my nails so bad, now they're so thin, it hurts, I don't like it. And I asked her, like, what have you done to your nails? She explained, well, everything seemed correct. And then she was like, well, I did my nails in the salon. And after like three weeks, I just bite them off. I was like, what? Well, this is the answer. Like, if you buy them off, you damage them because gel polish, it connects to the top layers of your natural nail. So once you tear them off, bite them off, I don't know, any other execution stuff, and half of your nails will rip off as well. That's why it's damaging. So usually it's not gel polish itself, it's a nail technician or clients or somebody else who damaged them. So if you do all nail prep correctly, if you take them off really carefully, you can watch the other videos about removing gel polish. I'll leave a link in the box below. So if you do everything right, gel polish will not damage your natural nails. Another opposite myth is that gel polish makes my nails stronger and thicker. The thing is that the thickness of our nails is built in genetically, so we unfortunately cannot really influence that. But when we apply gel polish, just imagine that our nails, they're kind of with a shield, like which prevents them from chipping, from cracking, from breaking. It helps them to survive in our world. So when gel polish is applied, your nails are more safe than without it, but that doesn't mean that it actually helps them to get thicker. So if you take gel polish off after several weeks, you will see that your nails came back to what it were before. So if you had thin nails, they will remain thin. If you had a nice, strong, thick nails, they will remain the same. Gel polish allows you to grow long natural nails, and this is true, because I did it many times. Gel polish works as a hard shell for our nails, so once it's on the nails, your nails will not break, as it's a lot harder than just regular nail polish enhancement, for example. So you can grow your nails really long, because usually we cannot do this because our nails break, because they chip, but if they have this shell, they will not. But if you have a really thin nails, if they break all the time, yes, you can grow them with the gel polish, but once you take it off, they will break again. So if you enjoy wearing long nails all the time, like I do, you need to wear gel polish on your nails all the time. That's how it works. Another myth is you cannot do gel polish enhancements all the time because it's dangerous. Gel polish itself is not dangerous, but the way you or your nail tech applies it, 
it depends so if nail prep and everything is done correctly it is safe so you can wear it all the time for weeks for years but there's a thing soaking off so soaking off gel polish is it's not dangerous for the nails if it is done the right way but you cannot do this all the time like if you do it every three weeks during the year you will see that your nails are really damaged because it actually it contains acetone that dries your nail plates so bad like deep in the layers and unfortunately we cannot always control the time we cannot count like for exact second when we need to take this wrap off so usually we hold it a few seconds sometimes minutes more than we were supposed to so if you want to wear gel polish for years without any damage to the natural nail it is better to not take it off completely all the time always leave a thin layer of the remaining base of the gel polish and then put a new one on the top in this way we'll never actually touch the nail plate and it will be completely safe i have such a bad thin nails no gel polish will work for them well this is myth also because it really depends on what kind of gel polish would you take if you have a thin nails that means they are really flexible you just need to choose some product that is really thick that's really hard sometimes you can even use the hard gels or hard acrylics you can also take acrylic powder and mix it with a gel polish so it really depends also you need to do a really good nail prep sometimes you can even use a non-acid primer which helps with the adhesion so no i've never met a people who cannot wear gel polish at all well yes some people wear it better some do worse it depends on the personal issues on thickness of the nails on the lifestyle like for example mountain climbers of course they will not be as good with wearing this enhancements but still you can find the right product so just keep searching and you will find the one that will suit you gel polish is such an easy service i can do it at home um the answer is yes you can but the thing is okay you do not want to buy some cheap products right you want a nice professional brands so once you buy the base coat the colors the top coat then you will need some products for the preparation then you will need to buy a lamp and you don't want a cheap one right because if you will buy a small or cheap one usually it's not powerful enough and it will not cure your enhancement completely so you might have a chipping on your nails or lifting so you need to buy a lamp then what colors do you want to choose you don't want to wear the same red color all the time don't you you want to change them every season like i want neons for summer i want glitters for winter so that means you will have to have several colors and this overall means that this is pretty pricey and we counted it and it actually turns out that it still makes sense to go to the salon all the time even to expensive one because the amount you will spend on these products will still be more than that plus the time you will spend on applying the gel polish nail technicians and nail salon they have many clients a day like 10 20 it depends and they do it all the time that's why it takes them like one hour and you are not experienced yet then it will take you more time than that so to me for example spending the whole day covering my nails and still i will know that i will not do it as good as the professional in the nail salon can in just two hours why should i do it so the choice is yours my work is only to inform you so these were truth and myth about gel polishes please share if you heard more myth i would really like to hear and read about them if you have any questions also feel free to ask them in the comments below and thank you very much for watching this video and i'll see you later bye